the name Ronnie Stanley could be around the Ravens for a decade to come. He's a big-time athletic blocker who played left tackle for Notre Dame, and Stanley is the highest Ravens pick in the draft since they went after Jamal Lewis at number five some 16 years ago. Come on, Lola. She's about six years old. I just wanted to adopt one, because I just love dogs, period. She's been great. She has separation anxiety, that's about it. She's very well trained. She helps me wind down, you know, after a long day of practice. First round picks have so much pressure on them because you're not expected to play like a rookie. You have to not miss a beat from what a, a vet will play like. I'm Ronnie Stanley. I play football for the Baltimore Ravens. I was very happy and excited, but I knew, like, you're going straight to work right after that. Like, the day after, I was flying to Baltimore, you know, like, at 6 a.m., so there's really no break time in between the draft and the season if you're a rookie. My friends are up there. I mean, my girlfriend's up there. I don't think they know we're going to be coming up, though. I don't know what they're doing. Hey, come here. Ronnie's a very interesting young man. He is quite the dichotomy. You see him off the field, he is a very mild-mannered, easygoing young man who's respectful. Just not a lot seems to bother him. You see him off the field and you go, all right, Ronnie, now it's time to get after the weight room like this. Now it's time, and he's like, no, man. <laughs> He's such a quiet person. He's, you know, under the radar kind of kid. People that don't see him on the field will always known him as this gentle giant of a person. I just wanted to help out, you know, a dog that's probably not gonna get adopted. So that's that's what I asked the girl when I went to the shelter. Um, which dog, you know, is probably not gonna get adopted. And the one I have now is the one she showed me. Going to the gym. Yeah, my dad was in the military, in the Air Force, and he also flew commercial. It was just a little bit stricter, you know? Um, my dad was just old school. And my mom, she was really, you know, strong-willed, very competitive. Always wanted us to be the best, but it definitely helped in the long run. I'm very good at, you know, adapting to new environments. Kind of just you know finding my my place my place. What's up, Ryan? How's it going? I know today is like an off day. Yeah. yeah. So we do like stay light today. It's not even a bigger machine. <laughs> Guys, I'm playing with now. They're doing this to support their families. You have to produce, or you're not going to be able to provide. So there's definitely a lot more pressure. My work ethic has, has been the same. I've always been the type to just focus and practice on the things I need to get better on and really, you know, not just go out there and go through the movements. You just gotta be ready on every play to know that you're gonna beat the man, you know, that you have to block. We're going to the food market. It's one of my favorite restaurants out here right now. There's a ton of kids that sign in colleges. Very little from that, those kids go to the NFL. It's really, you know, just 
my work now. It's what I need to focus on. And I really like that aspect of it, that it's not just me doing this just to do it. It's what I'm doing for a living.